Well, guys, it's one of those sad days in the YouTube world. Um, as a lot of you have probably seen now, Gerard, a.k.a. the Completionist, has been accused of basically, yeah, keeping charitable donations that were made to him. Now, I know a lot of this is going around. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of sad to see, guys. Uh, I, I'd like to hope that, you know, this is just a fluke and that something's, you know, a foot that somebody hasn't noticed. But you have uh, YouTubers Carl Jobst and some ordinary gamers who basically went through and found out that all the money that uh, the completionist and his crew have been accruing, you know, basically saving up over time doing their fundraiser Indie Land has been sitting idly by and not being used for what it was said it was going to be used for. Now we're going to pull up the article right here to kind of show you guys what exactly is all going on so we can I can kind of go more into details because like I said I, I just kind of it's just it's messed up guys. So uh, I just want to once again say that I am just kind of shook by this because I'm a huge completionist fan. I discovered his channel a few years ago. I binge watched and caught up pretty much on everything he had ever done uh, on the show wise. And then this just kind of really kind of doesn't sit well in my stomach. I, like I said, I really just hope that, you know, there is something afoot here that he is not actually a part of this, that there was something that he didn't know about this. But I can just say that it, it's not looking good. Uh, so we're going to go into here. So this is an article on IGN. Now, Basically, the, you know, obviously the headline is YouTuber the Completionist Open Hand Foundation accused of keeping charitable donations. This Open Hand Foundation charity, which is was uh, Gerard started, essentially, um, was to raise money and stuff for dementia research. Now, I believe his, I think it was his mother that suffered from dementia and stuff like that. So they started this foundation in hopes of, you know, and of raising money to kind of help fight this disease. Uh, like I said, the YouTubers Carl Jobs and some ordinary gamers went into full detail more about this in their videos. Um, I've been on kind of a Carl Jobs uh, kick lately, so I've been watching a lot of his stuff. So when I seen this pop up, it was just really, it was really sad to see. Um, so it, it says here that uploaded their videos and, and to Gerard better known as online as a completionist and his charitable foundation. We already talked about that. So the pair alleged that the Open Foundation, which was founded by the completionist's father, Charles, was in memory of his wife, uh, Karine, or Karen, Ka I'm, I'm not sure how to say that, I'm sorry. I know it's not just Karen, it's probably pronounced some other way. But in which the YouTuber and his four siblings play as active roles, according to the website, and has currently more than $600,000 do in donations untouched in a bank account that has no evidence of paying that money forward to the organizations that are actually working against dementia. So I know we've, we, everybody knows in the past that a lot of times with these bigger, you know, richer people, they, they start these companies and then they, the money just kind of disappears. Or that, you know, they say they do all this and everything. And, but a lot of times you can't prove that stuff. But, now, I don't know if they'll talk about it in here, but this is a non-profit that I think all the, the tax records are open to the public, so you can go in and see. So, these, this Carl Jules and some ordinary gamers and stuff, they basically researched into this and found that these they hadn't been using the money for anything. They've been collecting it over the years, and they just hadn't used it. So, this comes despite the completionists who boast 1.6 million subscribers on YouTube, running yearly fundraising events called IndieLand, which online personalities and celebrities come together to raise money directly for the Open Hand Foundation. So every year he runs this long charity event for his non for this foundation. Um, and has celebrities on it. Like I think I saw that like Jamie Lee Curtis and all these YouTubers and stuff makes stop by. It's actually a really fun event and it showcases a lot of indie games. Um, that companies are coming up with that kind of show them off, give them a little, you know, stuff while all just driving to really support this foundation. So, yeah, IndieLand is a celebration of indie games with a mission to raise money for the charity over a 30 hour span with tons of developers, influencers, and pipe icon, uh, pop culture icons. Dropping in for the cause, the website says all proceeds earned during the event go to the Open Hand Foundation. Now, before we get more into this, uh, 
it has been, you know, said that supposedly the money's still there. And, you know, it's it's still there. So he can still go around and turn around and use this for good as of right now. Um, the only thing that's really kind of concerning is some of the stuff that he's been talking about in the past. And I think Carl Jost even had an, on, an online call with him on his YouTube video and saying that, you know, that I think he knew about this back in 2022 that the money hadn't been used yet. And, but then our 2021 or 2022, but then the next year that they did the Indy land again, he still said that this money was going towards these foundations and it's just... So going towards this, during these streams, the money raised goes to organizations all over the world, such as the University of California, San Francisco, the Alzheimer's Association, blah, 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 you know, and many more. Um, the Open Hand Foundation isn't listed as a partner or donor of the uh, Alzheimer's Association, and it's not on the list of donors for San Francisco either. And according to both those YouTubers who publicly found the tax filings, they had raised $655,000 since it started it, but have donated none of it despite recording tens of thousands of dollars in administration expenses. So that basically means that they, they got all this money, they filed that they got it, they haven't donated none of it though, but they've used tens of thousands of dollars claiming administration expenses. So they've been using the money for other stuff, really. I, I mean, that's what I get out of it. Uh, when asked for an explanation by Carl Jost, yeah, the collegian, his brother, Joaquin, ja Jacqueline, said that the Open Hound Foundation was taking a vigilante, a vigilant approach to selecting who should receive the money. So they're basically saying their reasoning for not using it yet was that they have not found the right place to donate the money to. But I can tell you right there, obviously these two right here, University of California and the Alzheimer's Association are two excellent places to start. You have six hundred and some thousand dollars. You could give easily a hundred thousand to each of those and still have some left over to find more places. These people are watching, you know, these streams, donating these money, thinking that it's going to a good cause, and in an actuality, as of right now, that they're saying it's just sitting in an account somewhere. So oh, let's see here. So, the Open Hand Foundation is therefore claiming it hasn't donated any of the raised money yet, despite it has spent the last nine years searching for a worthy partner. And that, and that right there is just really weird to me. It took you nine years, and you still haven't found any place to find a good partner to give the money to. And, yeah, it's just... It really bugs me because if... The, if I think, I don't know if they'll get to that part yet on here, but Gerard goes on to say that he knew nothing about this. He thought the money was going to good, but you're an active role in running this foundation. Shouldn't you have been knowing that the money is going somewhere? Like, like, uh, CM Retro had done a video talking about, you know, you know, all, how much would it took to just say, Hey guys, um, you know, we've been doing this, our, uh, fundraising, where's this money going? Oh, it's going to this one. Okay, cool. I can use that in my next you know, stream when we do it to tell them exactly where the money's gone. Like, it's not, like, hard to just do that. It's just, that's what makes it seem so shady. Uh, as a lot of you know, I run a little nonprofit out of my house, which basically just takes backpacks, fills it with uh, hygiene stuff, uh, a stuffed animal, sometimes a blanket, and little toys here and there for foster kids that get moved to, you know, when they get pulled from their homes and they have to go into foster care. I make a backpack so they can have something to carry around with instead of a lot of them use trash bags and they got to get their stuff and get out. So this is just something to kind of ease their transition. And, you know, I've asked in the past if people would want to donate. I never demanded it. I never said that I need this money, blah, blah, blah. I usually just done fun little stuff like these guys did, you know, e eating hot stuff, eating weird foods, getting pepper sprayed. And, but I've shown like what that money goes to. I've shown that, you know, like obviously, like if I wanted to right now, I have like, you know, 10, 15 bags over there ready to go. I have a bunch of bags and stuff down here. I got stuff that the money's been used for. And I had no problem showing people all this stuff, pictures of me dropping them off, videos, you know, of putting the bags together. But how could somebody with this many million, you know, subscribers and stuff, I don't know. It, it just kind of seems to me too like this. This they're putting this money off to the side, 
just for like look, fun money or something. And I think they just thought that maybe nobody would ever notice. But it's the internet, guys. It, everybody finds out sooner or later. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. As a part of the larger response to Carl Jobs, uh, the, the colleagues uh, denied any wrongdoing. While we understand the necessary to do vigilance and charitable and greatest engagements, the institute insinuation of wrongdoing on part of the Open Foundation has been unwarranted and unfounded. Uh, some, okay, so they actually talked to the completionist himself. This is the big thing. So I knew the money was sitting there at, certain, at a certain point, and that's what made me proactively to go about it, the speaker allegedly, the completionist said. I was made aware in 2021, yep, there it is, that the money hasn't moved yet, and that's what made me go, that's not effing cool. And that's when I personally got involved to move it and not tw and move it and not, oh, not 2021, last year, 2022. The speaker added, I assumed it was all to go into charity and I assumed incorrectly. Despite this, the completionist did say in the 2023 stream that the Open Foundation has been contributing to various organizations, which they found was a lie. So... Like I said, I I love the completions. I love the channel. And like I said, I binge watched it and everything. And that's why when this came up, it was really like, like, just, it just, do, it makes me feel like, like, like not very good, you know? Like, you know, it just makes you feel kind of sick. Um, somebody that you looked up to and stuff. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that, like I said, there could be some evidence that comes out here pretty soon that this was all a ruse, that the money went somewhere. Um, but I don't know if there's any coming back from this. If they cannot prove, you know, this, that I think, obviously, Gerard's channel is going to take a huge hit, guys. And this is, like, very, very not cool. Like, he, like, he quoted, you know, that's not effing cool. And, but he's trying to say that he didn't know nothing about it. But then in 2022 or whatever, they said that they were going to do something with the money. That's when he found out. And in 2023, they... He said that they made they made some donations or sorry they, he's contributed to some four organizations, but they found all this information on the 2023 thing and it, it said and it's basically proved that they haven't done anything with it yet. So I'll leave that up to speculation on you guys what you think is going on. I know some people are saying that they thought that maybe this was a an account that he had off to the side that was kind of his safety net if uh, if YouTube ever failed and you know now it's who knows that might actually it might actually happen i mean i wanted to just do this video because i just kind of want to talk about this because it's been it's been bothering me and i can't really talk about stuff like this you know to my friends and my my wife and stuff because they just don't understand you know they don't they're not into this stuff like i am and i wanted to leave this open to uh conversation below uh what you guys think about this because we know there's been a lot of youtubers lately that have been kind of some dark stuff coming to light and this is definitely one of them um, I, am I going to stop watching his show? Uh, I doubt it. Like I said, I, I, I'm, I like Gerard for the most part. I like his YouTube channel. Uh, does that make me a hypocrite from doing a video like this saying that it makes me sick kind of that he's doing this and then, but I'm still willing to watch the stuff. It might be, but he still entertains me and it, it just doesn't make me feel good that, you know, you have 1.6 million, you know, subscribers. It's the same when the whole Boogs thing popped up. That what's his name? That you have all these million subscribers, you can just put videos out. People watch them. You make money. Why would you do something like this? Like, I think it's said in the past. I mean, the one thing that did rub me wrong before is Gerard said in the past video that they don't make much money off these videos, and I don't believe that at all. He was on, you know, G4 TV. He was on other stuff. He has merchandise he has all this stuff they pop a video out and it probably easily gets a hundred thousand views and i know from my little channel like here i think i got monetized this year and i've made maybe around you know five hundred dollars off my videos if that and i only get a couple thousand views altogether like you know some of my videos my, my best video i think has only gotten a few thousand views and i made you know a, a small amount of money off of that i can't imagine a comp you know a channel that's got you know a hundred times as many subscribers as I do or even a thousand times as many subscribers as I do you're making money so I don't know why you would have to do shady stuff like this just I don't know so with that being said guys 
I want to know what you guys think about in the comments below. Now, does this is it? Are you in the same boat? Does this just make you feel kind of sick? Uh, and just knowing, because like I, like I said, I've I've always watched Gerard, and he always just seemed like a good person to me. And if he didn't honestly know about this, that'd make me feel so much better that it was something that maybe his siblings was did that they were hiding money away for something else because you know maybe they weren't making as much as him, and they were they were hiding a little safety egg. Or if he knew all this time and he's lying saying he didn't, that's really really shady. So. Uh, I'll try to leave a link to Carl Joseph's video in the description below because that's the one I watched that kind of got me the most information on it. And then obviously if you guys want to read more about this, there's articles everywhere now. Um, I'm just hoping that something comes to light here pretty soon that, you know, we'll, it, one of the brothers or the siblings or something takes uh, responsibility for this. And, and then hopefully, you know, maybe Gerard had, did have nothing to do with it. But that being said, guys, thank you for watching as always. Um... I love reading your comments, so please make sure you leave a comment below so I can, so I can read it. Uh, and let's just hope that you know, let's keep it, let's keep the positive vibes going, guys. Uh, I just wanted to get this out my chest talking about this because it has been bothering me since I le learned about this two days ago, and it's just kind of sad to see. So, but as always, guys, stay retro, my friends, and I will see you in the next video.